right, DC, here is Kamara Usman back on the proven ground here tonight, and even dating to the Ultimate Fighter back in 2015. You got the sense pretty early on that we were looking at somebody special. He was able to cap it with the UFC Championship. He's back on the loose here tonight. He has this undying belief in himself. The belief that hard work, all the results will show, and they have Kamara Usman. From the pace and pressure he put on Los Angeles to the pace and pressure he put on Woodley, he shows now, and in those fights, why he's one of the best fighters in the welterweight division. And he's really coming into his own when it comes to his striking. Certainly, he's had a lot of standard influences in his ear. Henry Hook, of course, Greg Jones on the wrestling side. Or Usman, as he put it way back in the day, he's a real pro. Welterweight champion Leon Rocky Edwards. Obviously, there weren't many people picking him to beat Kamar Usman at UFC 278. But that fight was scheduled for 25 minutes. He needed all of them. He produced one of the greatest highlights in UFC history. He needed 24 minutes and 30 seconds in order to become the champion. But he never gave up on himself. It seemed as though everything was trending in the wrong direction and he got the job done. Leon Edwards is a phenomenal fighter. He's very well rounded. And he's real big for the weight yeah. class. And you see his physicality come into play in that first round against Kamaru Usman taking him down and controlling him on the ground. Right. But tonight he has a different challenge. He doesn't have the guy that brings all the accolades. He has a young, hungry lion that's looking to knock him off his throat. And we will see how Leon handles this challenge. But of course, increased eyeballs on Leon Edwards given what he was able to accomplish in becoming the man at 170 pounds. the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC welterweight champion, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Leon Rocky Edwards. Referee Herb Dean will handle the action in the octagon. All right, here we go at 170 pounds. Kamala Usman and Leon Edwards. Nothing really resembling a weakness on film for Kamal Usman. The jab is outstanding. Path of least resistance, though, tonight, I would think, would be the takedown. And that is what paid dividends for him in fight number one. But you got to imagine that Leon Edwards today is much better. He has shown that. Leon Edwards has shown tremendous takedown defense. He has shown a great ability to get back up with taking down. And when he is on his feet, he is one of the cleaner boxers that we have seen in the UFC. Pretty good knee there by Usman. Oh, and there is another knee, and that has certainly been the primary weapon of choice for him. Oh, he slams his opponent to the canvas. I think the octagon's shaking, DC. The octagon was shaking. Somebody secure the doors because they are going to blow the roof off of this place. 
Pretty good execution on that early takedown. Everybody in this arena knew that he wanted to get the early takedown and opponent couldn't stop him. Sometimes you're so good at something, it doesn't matter what your opponent's doing. This man is such a great wrestler, he was able to secure that takedown. He gets to his spot, the tie point. Then he starts to let the knees go. Oh, huge left hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Well, we've been talking about those knees and his usage pattern with them throughout this fight here tonight. And the numbers really do tell the story. He continues to employ his Muay Thai game and find a home for some of the more powerful knees in this division. Rips the body there. Great timing on that double leg. Nice positional control here. Big ground and pound. He passes the half guard. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Shades of the godfather of the ground and pound, Mark Coleman, as he lands again. Holy somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Tighter, tighter, head up. Now he's got good body position, yup. Three minutes have elapsed here in round one. All right, so the big storyline in this one, the Nigerian nightmare, Kamar Usman, the wrestling's on point, and the ground and pound going on as well. You know, these skills are what allowed for Kamar Usman to become the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. He is a tremendous wrestler, incredibly strong, and you are seeing all that happen in the octagon right now. He is on point. Oh, nice combination of ground and pound here by Usman. Oh, he got to his spot. Oh, looked like an elbow there from the top by Usman. And now he's got the back. Relentless pressure from the top by Usman. Getting the ball here. Posture's up now. He lands his head strike. Another strike gets through from the top position. And very effective with the ground and pound. Good work from the top here by Kamaru Usman. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. He's got to start throwing now. Oh, big elbow. Under 30 seconds. Twenty seconds to go. Elbows. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Edwards' cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Uh, Round two straight ahead. Uh. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor, it doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. Ready, fight? Ready. All right, round two. 
Beautiful body shot there by Usman. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Nice. Nicely done. Nice defense there. Huge block. I mean, he's cutting down the side with this beautiful leg kick. Hands going for the clinch. He lands a nasty shot from there. Oh, he fades upstairs and lands flush to the body. When they land perfect, that is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. They will stop very soon. Edwards has got his hand looking for a guillotine choke. Oh, oh! Oh, that gilly is tight. Oh, he escapes! He got out! I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. All right, side control now. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now but he's got to start to protect it. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Edwards. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down to his opponent's neck to try to choke him out and finish his fight. Tight to me. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be dropped with their empty. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping forward. They're excited. Well, he's not leaking information. He is leaking blood and a lot of it as his opponent continues to realize success. I mean, he's finding so much success striking in that area of the face. His eye is so damaged. The blood is pouring everywhere. This has become very, very dangerous for him. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Pretty interesting to see him mixing it up with the kicks here, some calf kicks, and now attacking the thigh effect. Just throwing a traditional leg kick. The traditional leg kick was a little higher. Everybody wants to talk about that calf kick right now. There's still a lot can be done with those traditional leg kicks. A lot of power on display from Kamaru Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamaru Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight. Not only is he the best walker in the world, he may just be the toughest walk to wait the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. Usman going for the takedown here, nothing doing there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Strike lands there and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other pieces. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Under 20 seconds now to go. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Guillotine mm -hmm. jump! Oh, he's out! Edwards 
his cheek is oh. just leaking blood all over the octagon. That gash is absolutely terrible. I might have even caught his jawbone in there. I'm not so sure. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over the 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? You ready? Third ready. round underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Hook shot attempt to the head here instead. It's blocked by Evans. Deep now. That is a hard left hand that lands for Leon Edwards. And as usual, DC, let this fight do the talking tonight. Let this fight do the Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 31 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Usman. Man, Usman's feeling his power, and why not? Another knockout for the former welterweight champ tonight. Yeah, beautiful knockout by Kamaru Usman. He has gotten so much better in striking, and these opportunities are presenting themselves. Just like he did to Jorge Masvidal. The guy has setups, he believes in his jab, he believes in his power, and he's starting to show that in these performances. And once again, proving that his spot on the pound for pound list is deserved. Congratulations to the Nigerian Nightmare.